Introducing first, the challenger from Laredo, Texas. She is the prodigy, Roxy. Well, there she is, Roxy, who first walked into these doors at the World Gym Arena when she was 16 years of age taking buses from Laredo, Texas to follow her dream. She became the youngest Diamonds champion in history. And tonight, Kirby Carry On, she tries to go for it again. She is gonna be one of the most important stars in the history of this company or any. The very first Ring of Honor World Women's Champion, Roxy, takes on Rachel Rose tonight. And she gets to join a very, very elite list of a short list of women, I should say, that can call themselves two-time women's champion if she managed to dethrone the queen here tonight. The fans love her. The road faithful, always excited to see Roxy. And we're excited for the performance she's going to put on this evening. And her opponent. She is the reality of wrestling, Diamonds Division champion from the throne room of House Rose. This is Rachel Rose. Now, Carby, carry on. I'm not going to ask you again. You better bend the knee. You better bend the knee for Rachel Rose, the queen of House Rose, the Diamonds Division champion. She has been having an incredible reign, holding that championship ever since the Summer of Champions. And you're right, she's starting to make a believer out of me. She has been the champion, she's been taking on all comers. I have to bend the knee at this time, Brad. You, you absolutely have to, and especially to go one-on-one -on -one with Roxy, someone who has a championship pedigree. And we know they don't call her the prodigy for no reason. But back to Rachel Rose. You said she's had the championship since the Summer of Champions. That's 100% fact. What do you think that that's done for her confidence? It has skyrocketed. Before, she walked she walked the swagger of being a champion. But now that she is the champion, it has skyrocketed since. Absolutely. And you see Rachel Rose not taking her eye off of Roxy as she entered the ring. These two have a history with one another. There's no doubt about it. They, at times, were the best of friends, and now they're the best of enemies, all because of that. That Diamond Division Championship that belonged to Roxy that is now around the waist of Rachel Rose. This is gonna be a very, very interesting contest here, Brad. The, I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see the experience of Rachel Rose. This is the first time that they have faced off with this kind of caliber here inside the World Gym Arena. We've seen them face off in Dayton before, but this is the first time since the Summer Champions that they've locked up one-on-one -on -one here in the World Gym Arena. Well, here we go. The crowd chanting for Roxy. The champion is used to the crowd not and it doesn't affect her at all. That's that swagger that I'm talking about from the queen, the champion Rachel Rose. Well, it's obvious where the hearts of the reality of wrestling nation here inside the World Gym Arena lie. They lie with the prodigy, Roxy, and here we go. Diamonds Division Championship on the line. Roxy attempting to become a two-time Diamonds Division Champion here. A feat at her age that is absolutely incredible, Brad. Well, you know, she was also the longest reigning Diamonds Champion in the history of the division. The Diamonds Championship is the most prestigious independent Texas championship in all of women's wrestling. You are not going to find a company that has the pedigree that this title has. When you look at the lineage of it, you're, I mean, you're the historian, you could break it down for us. Kylie Ray, Hai Yan, Ivory Robin, the list goes on and on. Alex Gracia to name a few as well. That list is just absolutely of the top hitters that have come out of Texas. And you know that Rachel Rose wants to continue her lineage here, especially against somebody like Roxy. All right. Roxy, control of the left arm of Rachel Rose. And you're right, Kirby, we've seen these two battle before, but not on a stage like this with that prize in, in the distance, that Diamonds Championship. What do you think Roxy's mindset is, though, coming into this title match tonight? 
She definitely wants to win this championship at all cost. She recently uh, lost the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship, and she wants more gold around her waist. She wants to make sure that everybody keeps fighting her to, so she can stay in tip-top shape. Oh. Winning that championship will bring all kinds of challengers back onto her plate. Headlock takeover there from the champion to the challenger. And Roxy trying to bridge out of it. Shift away and look at that, looking for a head scissor. Almost has it, but no, Rachel Rose fights her off. The champion, ever impressive. I feel like every time we see Rachel Rose, she adds another element to her game. Absolutely, her technical ability has improved tenfold ever since I saw her walk through the building just a few years ago. And it's no accident that she is the current Diamonds Division champion. She's at the top of her game, and Roxy is going to have to figure something out to be able to take that championship away from Rachel Rose. Right now, tripping Rachel Rose up on that left knee, has control of the left arm, pinned behind the back of the champion, Roxy. Trying to, there we go. Uh oh, champion could be in trouble here. Middle of the ring, Roxy has that cinched in. But Rachel Rose able to get to, able to shift her hips, shift the weight, take some of the pressure off of that left arm. And now Roxy trying to find another way to get into this. So far, what it looks like to me, Brad, is a masterful game plan from Roxy. That cross face has ended so many matches as of late, and it's actually how she won the championship, the Ring of Honor championship. And now, by weakening the arm of Rachel Rose, that cross face could be fatal later on in the match. Absolutely. Absolutely. And right now, Roxy again, finding a way. Oh! Look at that. She's asking the crowd if she wants to do it again. And one more time, they say, oh, one more time there. That left arm is going to be in a lot of danger as this match progresses, Brad. Absolutely. Rachel Rose able to bring it back, though. But, oh, I think she was going for the cartwheel. But Rachel Rose like, oh, here we go. No, oh, come. Oh. no, no, Roxy bridges out of it. Oh, wait, there we go. One, two, kick out. Oh, now the leg scissors there to the midsection. That right there compresses your lungs, and you're, it's getting so hard to breathe for Roxy right now. This is going to take a lot of, out of her, and she needs to get out of this immediately. Oh, rolls through. Cover one. Neither woman wants to make a mistake here, Brad. If they know that whoever is the one that makes the first mistake. Oh, roll up here. One, two. two. Whoever is the first one to slip up, they know each other so well that they know that it could be all over. Oh, another roll up here, two. But this time, Roxy, oh, here we go, the cross face, the cross face. It's so close. Oh, but Rachel Rose able to grab the rope there. The champion creating a little bit of distance, using the ring to her advantage. That is what we talked about earlier, Brad. The fact that Rachel Rose has gotten so much better, that veteran instinct, from the champion, knowing that she can use her surroundings to her advantage. Oh! Dro oh, looking for a drop toe hold there, but Roxy able to find a way out of it. Oh, look at that, the disrespect from the champion. Looking for a head scissor, can Roxy hit it, a head scissor takeover. Well, Jim Marina firmly behind Roxy here tonight, Brad. Oh, and it's just so incredible. Wow, look at that. The age of 20 years old, how much Roxy controls that ring like a 30-year veteran. Up on the top oh. rope. Oh, that was a nasty fall there. That was a scary fall to the prodigy. Hitting her, hitting her face on that top rope, down hitting the apron. And now these two on the outside. Oh! Now the Queen of House Rose in full control here, Brad. This is her environment that she loves. She gets to control the pace. She gets to disrespect her opponent. And then oh, she gets to chop her like that. Chop to the chest from champion to challenger. Now just pulling her by the hair here on the outside. Ooh! Rachel Rose throws Roxy back inside the ring. And look at that, not even going onto the attack, just taking her sweet time. She knows she's controlling the pace. 
And now just using those legs again just to choke out Roxy, using the, the environment to her advantage at every turn. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere. You're watching the reality of rest. Vicious forearms. Very vicious forearms from the champion. And now Rachel Rose looking to stay in the driver's seat. Roxy with a reversal. Oh, it gets Here her into a cross Here face. Has her in the cross face in the center of the ring. Has the Rolls her through. Oh, oh man, Rachel Rose so crafty with that. She knows the playbook so well, Brad. This is what we're talking about. The experience between these two as opponents, as former best friends, as now Rachel Rose is just driving those elbows, I'm sorry, the shoulders right into the midsection of Roxy right into the midsection, and the Prodigy is wearing the wounds of battle right now. You can see it with her body language all over her face, and now, snap there, takeover, holding on. Big shot to the middle of the spawn, and another one to follow it up. Cover one, two. Kick out there from the Prodigy. Rachel Rose showing that vicious mean streak like only she can. And it's that confidence that she's built up as her time as champion as the world of Marina is starting to come alive right now. Cheering for Roxy. Ooh, that kick to the midsection once again. Now the champion rolls to the other side of the ring here. Lifts up the knee. There's that knee strike there to the corner. Very, very confident there is Rachel Rose. Now hesitation drop kick oh. in the corner. Rachel Rose going into the cover here. Cover one, two. Okay, got it two. This match will continue. Now this is the part where Rachel Rose needs to start digging deep into her well, digging deep into the playbook. What else can I do here? What else have I learned since our last encounter with Roxy that she hasn't seen, that she doesn't know? She's starting to pull back on that arm here, that right arm. Possibly trying to take that shoulder out of the socket here, Brad. Oh! Look at that. And now, has her in an abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch right there. The champion to the challenger. That was a beautiful transition there. I've actually never seen that come up from the ground. And that just goes to show that Rachel Rose has evolved her game, but so has Roxy. Uh-oh. And a reversal there from the champion. I mean, from the challenger on the champion. Rachel Rose in an unenviable position. <laughs> Able to find out of it, fight out of it. Should I say both these women laying it all out on the line for one thing and one thing only. A win which would then declare them the Diamonds Division Champion. Roxy, Rachel Rose laying it all out in our main event. Oh, did you hear that, Brad? Is that all you got? Oh my goodness. The defiance from the prodigy. As she's just firing up now. Rachel Rose barely able to keep standing, but Roxy keeps fighting back. Here we go, Russian leg sweep here. But Rachel Rose rolls through. The champion goes for a wild kick that misses. Here we go, cover, one, two. two. Oh, another one here from Rachel Rose this time. One, two, but kick out. Kick out. Oh, that super kick connects. But Roxy Game on a fire back with a knee to the face. Huge knee to the face. A momentum shifter right there. Now Roxy, Rachel Rose, both women laid out in the middle of the ring. Whoever gets to a vertical base first will have an incredible advantage. You hear the crowd chanting the prodigy's name, Roxy. Referee up to a count of three. Both women beginning to stir now, Brad. Slowly trying to get back to a vertical base. Roxy was almost there, but she falls right back down. The damage that has been done to both is just incredible, and it goes to show why they are both here as champion and challenger. Look at this, using each other to get back to a vertical base. Ooh. 
Second one gets caught in again. Firing back is Roxy. Oh. Oh. She got caught by the back elbow. And now, here we go. Oh. Luthas press from Roxy. Roxy, oh. uppercut in the corner. Meets Rachel Rose in the center of the ring. Here we go, floating oh. around. There go. Oh, Roxy, Russian oh. leg sweep. Big Russian leg sweep, cover one, two. Can we have a new champion? No. We do not have a new champion, but Roxy. Oh, oh look at that, inverted, cover one, two. I haven't seen that before from the Prodigy. Normally she lands on her knees to the midsection, but it looks like she's digging deep in the well, as I said. They gotta change their playbooks, and that's exactly what the Prodigy's doing here tonight. Rachel Rose holding on to the bottom rope here, Brad. Able to shove Roxy off to those ribs that have been injured throughout the night here after those vicious shoulder thrusts into the corner. Looking for a big fall away slam, maybe. Oh no, Roxy able to counter again. Has, has control of that left arm. Rachel Rose stopping the momentum. Oh, spear! Spear! Spear from the champion, cover one, two, and a kick out. You can see the desperation starting to build in the champion, the frustration starting to build in Rachel Rose. The champion exclaiming that no one wants oh. Roxy here. Now a slap to the face. Oh, and another one. Roxy's taking a lot of abuse and punishment, and oh. she's not going to stand for it. And she just oh. smacked the hell out of Rachel Rose oh. and has her in the crossface. She has her in the crossface, center of the ring. Roxy pulling back. She is pulling back on the chin. Cover. One, two, and right back into it. Ooh. Rachel Rose thought she had a reversal. Roxy right back into that cross face. Could this be all for the champion? Rachel Rose trying to her best to hold on. She slowly starting to crawl her way there to the rope. Roxy covering in one. Oh no, Rachel Rose now finds herself on top of Roxy. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. The viciousness of the Queen of House Rose. She's sizing her up here, Brad. Oh. Oh. To the back. Off with their head, two, three, and still. The winner of this contest, and still, Diamond Division Champion, Rachel Rose. A fighting champion. The Queen of House Rose might have just seen the hardest fight of her career. Victorious in the biggest match situation that we've had in the Diamonds Division in quite some time. She proves that she truly is a fighting champion. And now the question is, who will defeat Rachel Rose, if anybody? Women inside the ring. Away, Roxy. Roxy. Extending the hand. Extending the hand of Rachel Rose. Oh, these two women, tremendous amount of respect for one another. As they embrace in the center of the squared circle, Roxy, Rachel Rose. What an emotional moment.